Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Danganronpa. We learned that uh, Sakura is probably the spy and kind of got it confirmed. I'm not really sure how to think about that, but she does say that she doesn't want to work with him anymore. So maybe that's just part of the plan. Anyway, let's continue. She's the traitor. Togami said Sakura is the enemy. But he's wrong. She's not my enemy. She's my friend without a doubt. But what can I do? What can I do to make everyone believe in Sakura? Yeah. We had similar feelings about Sayaka. We know how well that went, right? Yeah. As long as you're human, there will always come a point where you'd wish you could do things differently. Even a baseball player in the major leagues. Even a soccer player touring Europe. Even a famous singer who started her career as a backup dancer on a sketch comedy show. She makes a brilliant debut, but instead of going for more, she marries some third-rate actor and retires. Every human has regrets, things they'd like to go back and change. But I don't! Cause I'm a bear! Thanks, Monokuma. <laughs> really helping us out there. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! I'm worried about Sakura. I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. Everyone's standing just a little bit farther away from her than usual. Kind of suspicious about the whole thing. Uh, um... Uh, Makoto, are you okay? Huh? What do you mean? You were late, so we were worried about you. <laughs> what a dullard. Toko? Togami, what are you doing here? What the heck? They're taking refuge here. Refuge? Such ignorance. Don't make that stupid face. We have to protect ourselves against the Mastermind's tool. The Mastermind... Uh, are you talking about Sakura? Yeah, they are. <laughs> That's when I finally noticed the only one that wasn't in the dining hall was Sakura. Uh, where is Sakura? Stop talking. All I know is if she were here, I wouldn't be. The only reason I went out of my way to join the rest of you was as a safeguard against that threat. Threat? What is this? Why, why do you hate her so much? Naturally. Isn't it obvious? Because this makes things unfair. Unfair? The game should be fair to all players. The existence of a spy for the Mastermind upsets that balance. What the heck? That's a stupid reason. What, what did you say? Stupid. This is a life or death game, is it not? That's terrible! It is stupid. You're a stupid idiot. Hey. Before you get too far into your argument, maybe you should stop and think things through. Why did the Mastermind reveal that Sakura was the spy to us? What the heck? They were getting revenge on her, right? Like Monokuma said, an eye for an eye. However... That may be part of it, but it's not the whole picture. Revealing that fact was also meant to serve as the next motive the Mastermind wanted to give us. The chaos and confusion born from suspicion. The hatred. In other words... In other words, this right here, the fighting, the bickering is the trap the Mastermind laid for us. Knowing that, will you still stand there and argue like children? But... That's not what I'm trying to do, it's just... I mean, how can I get you guys to believe in Sakura again? <sighs> if she really can beat the Mastermind like she said, that'd go a long way in my mind. What are you saying? Idiot, you'd really ask her to do something so dangerous? What if something happens to her? Hmm. <laughs> I would, it wouldn't matter. Huh? What? <laughs> if Sakura were to die, 
That's one less person for the mastermind to control. I have no problem with that. Uh, hold on, Togami. <laughs> In fact, if she did die, that would settle this entire issue, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would put the whole problem to rest. What the hell? Oh man, action sequence. You disgust me. You're... you're a monster. To say something like that, it should have been you. You should have been the one to die. What? I should have died? Hm. Interesting. Interesting. Then you are planning to take care of that yourself? Go ahead, try it if you dare. That's how it works here after all. What is this? You think I can't do it? Hina, calm down. That's right. This is exactly what the Mastermind wants. And it's exactly what Sakura doesn't want. <laughs> What's wrong? Lost your nerve? I'm leaving. I'll be in my room. Trembling with anger, Hina ran off. <laughs> that stupid cow. How dare she? She should die a thousand deaths. No, no, a million. So she was just another hysterical little girl. Hardly worth my attention. Just a second. It's what the other people call having feelings, Togami. And all you can do is mock them for it. Hmm. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Hey. A friendly word of warning. Someday that attitude is going to come back and bite you. Hard. I don't have time to play with you. And I will happily elude its attempts. <sighs> uh, so, you know... Uh, um... How about we, uh, eat? Uh, maybe now's not a good time. You know? <laughs> Without a word, each of us left the dining hall. We headed back to our rooms one by one. That was a fruitful conversation. Ooh. So, what should I do today? Guess we could go talk to Sakura. Been a bit. So yeah, in case anyone's wondering, I'm pretty much over being sick right now. It's uh, just ever so slightly still there. But I'm more or less done being sick. I, I would have recorded something like yesterday and the day before, but these were like very busy, busy days at work. So the chance of me actually getting to make a video was pretty slim. Just like wait, I was way too tired to do it. There, yeah, we'll go, we'll go talk to Sakura. Seems kind of down in the dumps. But then again, so is Hina. Oh, I don't know. If we only get, if we get two opportunities, I'll talk to them both. But let's try Sakura since we're here. I'm sorry. I'm not sure I'm ready to open up just yet. Maybe if you create the right opportunity. Hmm, yeah, let's hang out with Sakura. I see. Even if I don't feel like talking? You'd still stand by me? <laughs> I still don't understand you, Makoto. But I'm pretty sure you're guilty for whatever murders happened. Without saying a word, I stood by Sakura. Sakura and I grew a little closer today. Do you like... Yeah, let's give her a present. What do we got? We got we got lots of stuff. I should look through... Ooh, mineral water. <laughs> you didn't need to go to all this trouble for me. Does that mean she liked it? I would presume so. Okay. Well, we got closer. We didn't really achieve much. I have plenty of time. I don't feel like sitting here. I should go somewhere. Let's talk to uh, Hina next, I think. And yeah, we're gonna try Hina next. Sorry. Listen, I'm really sorry, but I kind of want to be alone right now. I've got a lot I need to think about. Okay, I guess not. Do you want... Mm. I already talked to you once, Sakura. You wasted your opportunity. Sorry. Who are we going to talk to other than that? I think I saw Kyoko is somewhere in the hallway. Or no, that's Toko. Where's Kyoko? I don't know if, I, if Kyoko will even let me talk to her right now. But I want to try again. Oh, she was in the dressing room, not the laundry. Whoops. You want to talk? Go away. 
<laughs> she won't even look at me. I guess she doesn't even want to see my face. Well, that's disappointing. Uh, who else can we talk to? I wonder if Togami wants to talk. I haven't talked to Togami in a while. Let's talk to Togami. He's gonna be like, y you, you worm. Not even worth wasting my breath in your direction. Hmm. Sakura and Hina. <laughs> Finally, some action. Hmm. Things are starting to become interesting. What do you want? Huh? Oh, I didn't see you standing there. Did you need something? Uh, yeah, let's talk to Togami. Sounds That's like a nice fine. guy. Ah, fine, I don't mind allowing you to, you to indulge in my attention. I hope you appreciate this. Yeah, and let's give him a present, because he's a great guy. Just out of curiosity, what happens if I give him these again? This is... How did you get your hands on this? Even the collective force of the entire Togami. Yeah, we already we already saw this before. See, so we so can give him the same words. thing more than once. Just to be clear, being the ultimate affluent progeny isn't the is only one of my many talents. And some people think I rely on the care and protection of the Togami name. Huh? Is this a monologue or something? <laughs> but I don't rely on my family. Rather, I am my family savior. The Tokami Corporation reaches across the world. True, but I will but I will take us to even greater heights. It is expected of me, naturally. After all, even my own family has recognized my ultimate superiority. <laughs> In other words, even among the Togami family, I am the chosen among the chosen. So much confidence. Naturally. And that confidence is justified, I assure you. It comes from the battles I fought and won. Battles? I am personally worth over four billion dollars, separate from my Togami family assets. How the heck did you make that much money? In other words... The stock market. I buy and sell shares and assets based on market trends, all from within a single day. Yes. Surely even someone as simple-minded as you has heard of this technique. So we buy and sell stuff on the stock market doing everything in a single day. I think that's called... Day trading? You're talking about day trading, right? And you were able to make four billion dollars doing that? That's right. Well, I first started doing it to keep myself occupied. And before I knew it, there it was. It's really not a big deal. I'd say it's a super big deal. Wait, but are high schoolers even allowed to buy stocks and stuff? Don't make me repeat myself. I'm Togami. Is that meant to be an explanation? Hmm. Four billion dollars is nothing to the Togami Corporation. But for personal use, it's not bad. So now you understand, right? I'm not merely the child of modern-day nobility. You know, Togami... Maybe we should start calling you the ultimate day trader. <laughs> oh, I don't do that anymore. It was too simple, so I got bored of it pretty quickly. Jeez, do you realize how insulting that sounds to the rest of us? Hm. Of course that's how I feel about anything I do. Frankly, life is too easy. It's only natural for me to do whatever I want to in this world. Man, he really is confident. We're like worlds apart. Galaxies apart. I guess that was cool. Got more skill points? Look at me go. We still got more time, really. Hmm. Who else are we going to talk to? Oh, no, that was it. Okay. Music's done. I was about to say, are we having a third one? Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon, the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Nighttime already. Tonight feels somehow uneasy. 
We still haven't settled things with Sakura. Everyone's in a terrible mood. I just hope nothing happens tonight. Like death and murder. And using someone's blood as paint to draw cryptic messages on the wall. After I declined the offer to become a shrimp, the tech support lady just refused to drop the issue. Once the shrimp idea was dead, she came back suggesting I could become a crab instead. How much can one person love crustaceans? I said no, of course, and she shot back. Okay then. How about... Then how about to make you extra special? You can become a crab that walks sideways and backwards. But how is that any better? I don't want to go sideways or backwards. I want to go forward. I heard her annoyed sigh on the other end of the line, and then she said, You just don't see the splendor of the crab. Haven't you ever heard of the tale of the crab and the monkey? Of course I've heard of it. I know all about it. But so what? The crab beats the monkey, but it's just some legend. Hardly relevant to our greed-obsessed modern society. Sure, monkeys still show up in movies and stuff from time to time, but not crabs. Monkey-themed clothes are sweeping the fashion world. But the crab doesn't stand a chance, right? What I'm saying is, crabs have no place in today's light-speed world. Do your market research, lady. Which is why I chose the always popular bear image. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma! Yeah, that sure makes a lot of sense. I'm sure that's exactly how it went down. Attention, a dead body's been Good found. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! I need to do something about Sakura. I better go to the dining hall and talk to the others about it one more time. Assuming they're still alive. Great, great scream. Was that someone screaming? I think it came from the dining hall. Oh no! Someone dropped the donut! Hina's gonna be so mad. Makoto, we got a big problem, man! What's wrong? Uh, Look! He, uh, here his fingers shook as he pointed. Uh, Hina! Are you okay? What happened? She... she killed her. Genocide Jill killed Hina! Is she dead? You gotta be kidding! No, 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 no. She's not dead. Open your eyes. No way she's dead. There's no, nowhere near enough pink for her to be dead. Why? What happened? Uh, well, Toka and Hina, just all of a sudden they were yelling and then they knocked the pepper off the table. And that led to a sneeze? You SOB! Her giant balloons are a little too perfect, aren't they? I might be flat, but at least mine are real. <laughs> and look at my shapely collarbone. Doesn't it just totally set you on fire? Mm, totally not adorable. Anyway, you totally not an adorable boys. Just get her out of my sight, okay? Or else... My beautiful Kaze! I'll start cutting and cutting and cutting and indulging myself for who knows how long. Okay, then. Let's get Hina to the nurse's office. Come on, hero, help me. Uh, um... Sure thing. <laughs> wee -oo, wee -oo. So, so what exactly happened? I didn't quite understand. Genocide Jack's abrasive laugh chased us out of the room as we carried Hina away. Oh, the pepper made, uh, made Genocide Jack or Toko sneeze. I don't really see what's wrong with uh, Hina, though. By the time I finished taking care of Hina's injuries in the nurse's office, she seemed to have finally regained her composure. Sorry. Thank you. Are you sure you're feeling better? Yeah, it really was just a scratch. <laughs> but still, that was super close. If I hadn't yelled out, you'd be dead right now. It's all thanks to me, you know? Well, yes, a thousand thanks to you, sir. <laughs> so sarcastic, 
That just makes you sound even more hostile. You want you want to talk about it, Hina? Hey, Hina, what the heck happened? Oh, uh, we just got into a fight, and I lost my temper and flew off the handle. Let me guess, the fight was because of Sakura. But at first, I tried to just ignore it. If you let jerk buttholes get you all the time, you'll never have the time to live your life. But she wouldn't let it go, so I just... What the heck? Without thinking about it, I felt like I wanted to punch her like a dozen times. Are you serious? A dozen punches isn't really without thinking. And when things got out of hand, Genocide Jack got let loose, right? Sorry. It's my own fault, but I just couldn't take it anymore. Because, because, because she was saying all these terrible things about my friend, you know? Before I knew it, Hina's eyes started welling up with tears. And just as the tears were on the brink of spilling over, the door to the nurse's office burst open. I thought the door was going to fly off its hinges. And there she stood before us. Hina. Huh? You're hurt. What happened? Huh? Uh, uh, no, nothing. It's not, not a big deal. Hey! Makoto Hero, what's the meaning of this? <laughs> it wasn't me, it was Genocide Jill. It's all that demented, murderous fiend's fault. Oh, damn. To hurt Hina. To leave me alone, but hurt her. What is this? How dare you! What is this? <laughs> <laughs> My voice can't quite do that. I'm okay, really. It's just a scratch. Oh, no forgiveness! No! I can't forgive this! Oh. Hero, if you want to hate someone, hate me. If you want to hurt someone, hurt me. What? What? I don't hate you, exactly. I can't forgive this! Oh. <laughs> Hero nearly tripped over himself as he ran screaming out of the nurse's office. But just a second later... What's going on? Hey. What's all this noise about? Kyoko stood in the doorway of the nurse's office, taking Hero's spot in the room. It would seem... I gather that something happened. Kyoko, please, you have to stop Sakura! Wait. You don't need to stop me. I'm okay. I'm not going to do anything, I just... I'm drawing a line, right here and now. Drawing a line? Goodbye. Wait, Sakura! Hina sprang into action, leaving the nurse's office to chase after Sakura. The only ones left were... Us two. Uh, Kyoko. Are you still mad? Yeah, I figured. That's fine. Huh? Woo. About that issue we discussed earlier. It doesn't matter anymore. Then, do you forgive me for not being able to talk about it? In other words... You could have told me about Sakura and Monokuma fighting, but you stayed quiet. No, I tried so hard. You were only thinking of Sakura, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? You didn't want to confuse everyone until you could talk to her and be sure of what you saw. That's what you were thinking, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? Yeah. <laughs> to think like that. I wouldn't have expected such arrogance from you. What? Because... Ultimately, that means you don't trust me. No, that's not it. But if that's how you feel, I can't really change your mind. I'm sorry. That's fine. I've already forgotten about it. Besides... And I... I may have overreacted. Huh? Anyway... It's over and done with. Like I said, let's just forget about it. Okay. Thank you. So, what now? <sighs> That issue we discussed doesn't matter anymore. I want to talk to you about something else. What is it you wanted to talk to me about? 
indeed. Actually, I'd like you to come somewhere with me. I have business there. Where? So... Just come with me and you'll find out. I guess, but... Shall we go? Well then, shall we get going? With her typical indifference, Kyoko turned and walked away, setting a brisk pace. I just realized there's a information desk over here. It's kind of a weird thing in a nurse's office, but maybe not. Ah, Kyoko! I hurried to catch up to her. You know, I was just thinking, we may have medical supplies and stuff here, but unless someone actually knows how to use them, they're a little less than helpful. She walked ahead in silence. And in silence, I chased her. And eventually, we arrived... Oh, I wasn't expecting here. The dressing room? So there's something else you mentioned. Indeed. That's right. It has to do with Alter Ego. But you said we didn't need Alter Ego anymore. Wrong. I didn't say we didn't need him. I said he had done his job. Besides, it's not that... It's not us that needs Alter Ego. He is business with us. Huh? Right. Alter Ego asked me to bring others to come see him. Apparently he has something he wants to ask us. Alter Ego wants to ask us something? Hmm. I think we'll leave that for next time. Uh, upload schedule should improve soon, now that the busiest part of my year has uh, started to become a little less busy now. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you haven't gotten the message yet, tonight is the Umineko Tea Party stream where we finally finished Chapter 4 and the uh, the first Umineko... Well, I don't even know. It's all kind of one game, but it's divided into two separate, like, applications. So we, we finished with the first game, sort of. Or fourth, however you want to look at it. Yeah. Anyway, that will be later this evening at about 8 p.m. EST. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.